Right, so guys, it's Alex here, and today I'm wanting to clear up quite um, you know, just, just like quite a, a quite a big issue uh, that a lot of people have with uh, their AR drone, and that is wireless range. Now, I've not seen many videos on this, or you know, many explanations. I know there's a lot on the forums, um, on the AR drone forums, uh, but I thought I'd do a video just to clear a lot of things up for people. So uh, I'm going to get straight on with this, and the purpose of this video is because generally, on the device that you're using, the internal antenna is poor. As you can see, the devices are getting thinner and thinner all the time and the internal antenna is poor as it is on the uh, AR drone itself therefore resulting in a, uh, a short range but the um, the wireless protocol is very good for the AR drone because obviously it's transferring two cameras uh, the feed directly to the phone and then obviously going back to the phone is the controls to actually you know, control the heli and you know get it get it to do what you want it to do and obviously your phone can record the footage as well so the wireless protocol is definitely the way to go uh, but as this drone is kind of classed as an RC helicopter uh, you can't really you know it's not, it's not very comparable to most helicopters where you know, they've just got the standard 2.4 gig remotes which you know could go for miles and this this is not even 50 feet uh, so I'm going to show you a very very cost effective way and the best way to do this actually it's the most cost effective and the best way to do it um, I'm not really going to show any examples I might have an example at the end of the video if I can be bothered to actually go out and uh, show you guys but just right off the bat guys trust me this does work this increases the range about five to six times it's absolutely ridiculous it depends obviously on the circumstances guys but I'm going to go ahead and explain this and I'm going to explain the difference between this wireless repeater here and many other wireless. Uh, so this range extender here, this is the range extender I am using. Uh, if you just want to go ahead and jot down the model number there, it's just the Edamax AP. If you want to go and type it in on Amazon, I'll drop a link down in the description below. Um, but this is probably one of the most cheapest range extenders. You can pick them up for about 20 quid. Uh, that's probably about $30 for you guys over there in America. Uh, whereas some other uh, wireless repeaters are coming in about $60, $60 about 40 quid. Um, so this is the cheapest uh, cheapest uh, wireless repeater I've found and actually the best job to do this and I'm going to go ahead and explain why. Now, the protocol that these wireless repeaters use, let's just say this is your standard box, standard wireless repeater, uh, this, what that does is it has one antenna that picks up the signal from the drone, so the drone sends it to this and then these two antennas either side will send it off to your device in this case that we're trying to do here. Uh, but the SSID is uh, a big factor because if you have the same SSID as the drone, which most repeaters don't let you change, um, you're going to start running into a few problems. I'm going to go ahead and show you this now. This repeater is powered on, and the, both the repeaters are powered on actually. So if I go ahead and go onto my Wi Fi settings on the iPhone, probably the best way to show you, here's all the wireless uh, settings. We're going to be focused on Edmax AP, which is this little fella here and we are also going to be focused on this, Alex's Drone 2. Now, when you set this repeater up, I'm not going to show you the setup, I will show you the setup for this, but as you set this repeater up, uh, you choose the wireless network that you want to repeat, so obviously the router finds the, uh, the Alex Drone 2, um, it then picks up that signal and repeats it, but we don't know, say if I clicked on this, sorry, if I clicked on this and it tries to connect to it, I am not sure whether my phone is connecting to this, or my phone is connecting to this then this if you get what I mean guys you can't tell what it's connecting to because they've both got the same SSID and on most wireless repeaters this will be the case because they're not meant you know you're not meant to change the SSID you're meant to have it the same it's meant to repeat your wireless signal you know without any hassle so you're not having to change networks that's a wireless repeaters job now the reason I like this one here is because the setup is so simple I'll show you the setup on the computer um, in a few moments uh, but the reason I like this is because you can actually change the base SSI ID um, and I've just let, left this stock here to Edamax AP so what this is doing as you can see this is powered on um, this the signal from this will be going to this antenna and then it'll be going in here getting processed then rebroadcasted out of this antenna under a different SSID which is their Edamax AP so now I can make sure that I'm not you know either connecting to the drone or to the wireless repeater I can make sure I'm definitely connected to the wireless repeater and that it's definitely connected to the drone obviously by receiving the signal so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and click on Edamax AP then my phone will try and initiate the connection to the uh, to the access point here we'll just wait for that to finish and a way to check that it's finished is you see you don't see the wireless wireless up here if you just press on the arrow button here you'll see that it will have picked up the IP address there that's that's what you've got to look for if you haven't got the IP address just give it a little bit more time and uh, see what it can make of it so now if I go back and if I go into here and launch the AR Freeflight application.
can see that if the piloting light comes on, this will be a success. There you go. So now I know that I'm definitely, definitely connected to the Edamax AP, and this is connected to the drone because, as you can see, you can see the the image there, and then there's my camera, um, and there's the Edamax AP. So that's all good on that front, guys. So we've we've solved one issue. We know we're definitely connecting to the range extender, and not the drone. Um, and not the drone itself, so we're going to be limited to poor range, and uh, that is that is now cleared up. You see, and I've actually added two uh, external nine dBi antennas on this. It came with some little antennas like that, and I've upgraded it just to get a bit, little bit more range. I don't know if it's actually helped. And uh, another another little theory I want to clear, clear up, guys. Um, as you can see, I've got full signal there, right? Is this full signal from here to here? Or is this full signal from here to here? A lot of people don't really know about this, but I've been doing some testing, and this signal bar here is actually in our favour because this this signal bar here is indicating the signal between the drone and the extender. So as we fly the drone, we'll be able to see in real time what the signal is to the drone and the wireless repeater. So we're obviously not going to be stood right next to the repeater and flying outside and it's still saying we're on full signal because obviously we're not moving away from the um, wireless repeater, if you get what I mean. So I hope that's cleared things up, guys. I'm going to go ahead and show you now how to set this uh, wireless repeater up. And right, so uh, then here, I'll be I'm going to show you how to set up the Edimax AP. You're going to want to go to Edimax's website. I'll drop a link in the description where you can download the software from Edimax AP. It does come on an installation CD, but I recommend you go to the website and download the latest version. As I say, the link will be in the description. So if I go to my downloads now, guys, to get download the software, there you go. See Edimax AP Wizard. Uh, click on AP Main and then click on your language but first of all guys I want to say you need to connect the Edimax AP to your computer and yes guys this has to be a Windows computer I'd recommend Windows 7 or Vista I wouldn't go to Windows XP uh, this does not work with Macintosh guys you need to have a PC for this and if you do have a Mac I recommend installing Windows on it because this program that Edimax uh, you know makes for the makes for their Edimax AP or a wireless repeater it doesn't work over on the Macintosh uh, platform so uh, you need to go ahead and connect um, an Ethernet cable to the available Ethernet port on the back of the Edimax AP then connect it to the available port on the back of your computer once you've done that you can click your language and then it will say it's searching for the Edimax AP once it's done that you can see it will find it there on the network press next uh, the default password is admin uh, sorry the default username is admin it's already entered the default password is 1234 go ahead and press next there we go so uh, actually, uh, you know, when you first when you first start up into this, it should be on manually assign IP address. I uh, would usually leave this as it is and just press next. Uh, I did change mine, but just leave that as it is and press next. And then you want to do uh, repeater mode, Wi-Fi extender, and this is the point where you're gonna want to have your AR drone turned on, guys, and make sure it's all powered up. So this is where you can change the SSID that your phone's gonna be connecting to, uh, your phone or tablet. Uh, as you can see in the previous clips that mine was called Edimax AP, I'm going to leave it as Edimax AP and I'm not going to set a password to log on. Because uh, my Actually I'll just reset the password that I already had just to make sure it saves it. You don't have to set a password guys but I just like to make all my things secure. Go ahead and press next and as you can see here it's searched for the available wireless network. So the signal strength is 100 and uh, to my AO drone 2 and then we can press next. And the AR drone has no no uh, encryption on it, so we'll do that. Press next, and there's your information. Press set, and then wait for it to reboot, and then you're all set up, guys.